Happy Monday guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's plan with me, I've already whited out the dates along the top with some tipex because I accidentally went forward a page last week in my planner. So I went from the previous week, skipped this entire page and went on to the next one by accident. But it's totally fine because I've already whited out the dates and I know which week I'm on. I'm going to be doing a washi only spread which is something that I've never done before and I'm also going to be trying out stamps in my planner which is something else that I haven't tried before so I thought it was a good time to try these stencils which are actually for bullet journals I thought I would try them into my planner as I'm trying new things this week so I thought I would just grab them I'm also taking these stamps here which have got pictures on as well So to start I'm going to put some washi along the top and I'm also going to be ripping the washi with my fingers because I didn't want really straight edges in this week's spread. I just wanted it to look kind of raw and I don't know, I just went with the ripped edges feel. So I'm taking the stamps and I'm just stamping the word today. This was really actually hard to do because I couldn't see where it was going to be stamping and some of the ink kind of smudged and it was a little bit more difficult than what I was thinking but I still like the look of it, it just looks a little rough and ready. I made a gold page flag out of some washi and just wrote down that I wanted to upload this plan with me and that I wanted to post onto social media and there are some social media icons in the little stencils that are for bullet journals so I just coloured those in. And then while I was waiting for them to dry, I just cut up some washi and put that at the top just to separate the two boxes. And then underneath here, I'm just putting the little car icon as I need to go and pick up my mum and dad's car. I wanted to create my to-do section, so I just stamped on to-do with the little letters and I wanted to make a little checklist, so I just measured out some washi first and then took my single hole punch, but you can do this with any hole punch, and just made enough kind of little circles to make the bullet points for me to write down all of what I wanted to get done. And then this washi here has got lots of different sayings on in rose not rose gold, sorry, in foiled gold. I just took this one that says, this is important because my daughter's got a college meeting at five o'clock on Monday. So for Tuesday, I've got a birthday. It's my cousin Callum's birthday. So I just stenciled on the birthday present and just wrote down Callum's birthday. And then I moved on and created my to-do list. Underneath there, I just put another piece of washi down before putting my today section down. I then used the stencil and I thought it would be quicker if I stenciled lots of the icons that I wanted to use all at one time and then write it down, but I realised that I didn't leave enough room to write, so it's, it was a bit awkward, so it's best to do one stencil right, the next stencil right. Underneath there I put another piece of that washer that says you got this and I took the little glasses stamp. It didn't stamp out that well so I just went over it with my pen to design and then I've got some emails to answer. Wednesday I put some more of that washer that says today and I wanted to remind myself to water the plants in my home so I just done the little stencil and wrote down water plants and then underneath there I made another little page flag with some washi because I've got some happy mail due. I've actually got a book coming, it's on kind of tidying and organising, it's called the KonMari method, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it before but I'm very excited because being organised just makes me really happy. Underneath there I put the little light bulb stencil as I'm going to be designing some new poppets and underneath there I put another piece of that washi that says happy times. So I wanted to create something like a full box because obviously I've got no full boxes, I'm not using a kit and I saw this big kind of box so I stenciled that on and then cut up some washi and put it inside just to make it look a little bit more pretty. Flipping it over to Thursday, I stamped out the word today. I 
And then underneath there I used the stencil to draw out a thought bubble and inside I put one of the teacups because I wanted to put down tea first. I put another piece of washi down and I'm not actually sure what this icon is. I'm not sure if it's a tree, a magic wand, I'm not sure. But it reminded me of a feather duster so I just stamped that down to mark that I wanted to do some housework. And then for my to-do section I only had two things that I wanted to do so I kind of fit it in the same box. And I just put two little triangles, one was just to print and cut and the other one was to create some graphic designs that I wanted to put onto social media. And then underneath I put another piece of washi and then done the little house stencil because my black bins need to go out and I've also got some more happy mail due on Thursday. Moving on to Friday I cut some washi and made another page flag. I made this one a little bit longer because I wanted to mark down my new release day so I just stenciled the two little stars and wrote down new release. I always share my new releases onto Instagram so I just put the little camera stencil down and wrote down Insta post. And then I created my to-do section and instead of stamping it out I just drew one of the banners from the stencil. And as I had quite a lot of things to put on my to-do list I decided not to do the washi and just use the stencil where it has the kind of pre-made checklist. And then at the bottom there I put another box from the stencil to create a full box and filled it with some washi. There is a large banner on the stencil sheet, so I decided to create my own weekend banner. And then I took the washi that has the quotes on again, and I just put two of the todays down, so they kind of matched. I've got a payday on Saturday, so I just took the stencil with the page flag on and wrote down payday. I need to get my cat Marley a new food bowl and on some of the stencils there's some animals which was actually really handy. So I just coloured the cat one in and wrote down Marley bowl and I also need to go out to the shops on Saturday. So I've made a checklist but I will fill this in as the week goes. At the box at the bottom I'm just stamping out the words chill out night and I've also used another piece of washi with the quote on that says happy times. For Sunday I stenciled out the flower as we were going to be doing some gardening and then I created another box and layered some washi inside. I realised that this gold washi does not like to be ripped so I had to kind of cut that with my scissors. And then I created a to-do section, I uh, went a little bit too far by accident with the top line um, but I just filled in the rest which is my normal checklist to do on a Sunday. And then at the bottom there I wanted to remind myself to buy things for their packed lunch so they were fresh so I just used the little trolley stamp or the trolley stencil sorry and then underneath there I stenciled on a little apple because I wanted to prep some fruit for fruit smoothies and overnight oats and then flipping it over to the sidebar obviously I can't cover the April calendar because the washi is pretty see-through so you'd see it anyway so I decided just to stamp out next week and create my next week section And then to split my two sections up, I just used a piece of washi before stamping on homework section. I used the same stencil as above, I just didn't fill it in this time because I wanted to label it Monday to Friday and that way I can write down and keep track of what they are doing and kind of revision, study for my daughter and homework for my boys. And then at the end I just filled up that gap with a you got this piece of washi inside another thought bubble. So that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed something a little bit different. Using stencils in my planner was really easy and really fun, so I would definitely suggest trying it if you haven't done it yet. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss on any of my future uploads. I hope you all have a lovely week, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.